Good morning, I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. US equities traded mixed for most of the session after Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell commented that the next move is unlikely to be a hike, easing investor concerns that the Fed was losing control of sticky inflation. It was a volatile day for the major averages, with the 30 stock Dow rallying more than 530 points at its session high, spurred by Powell's comments. At one point, the S&P 500 was up 1.2%, while the Nasdaq climbed more than 1.7%. Overall, the Dow closed 0.23% higher, the S&P 500 lost 0.34%, and the Nasdaq slid 0.33%. The central bank opted to hold rates steady, citing a lack of further progress in bringing inflation back down towards its 2% goal. However, Powell ruled out the likelihood of a hike in a press conference following the decision. Investors also reacted positively to the Fed saying it would tap the brakes on one-way tightening conditions for financial markets. Starting in June, the central bank said it will slow the pace at which it allows maturing bond proceeds to roll off its balance sheet without reinvesting them. This is a process known as quantitative tightening. In company news, AI-related stocks were softer following disappointing reports from some top AI contenders. Advanced micro devices fell 8.9% after issuing an inline current quarter revenue forecast, while super microcomputer slid 14% on light revenue. Oil extended declines as US crude inventory swelled to the highest since June and traders waited for the Federal Reserve's policy decision. West Texas Intermediate slumped for the third straight session to trade below US $81 a barrel, reaching the lowest intraday price since March 14 while Brent futures fell below US $85. The US Senate unanimously approved legislation banning Russian uranium imports aimed at pressuring Russia amid its conflict with Ukraine. President Joe Biden is anticipated to sign it soon. Additionally, the bill unlocks $2.7 billion to develop the domestic uranium processing industry, intending to reduce dependence on Russian imports, which constituted about 12% of US nuclear power plants uranium supply in 2022. Turning to U.S. sectors, the best performer was utilities, which finished the day 1.14% higher. The worst performing sector was energy, which closed down 1.6%. Looking ahead to the Australian landscape, the SPY futures are pointing to a 0.1% fall. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.